Dear future husband, I want you to know that I am so excited to do this a second time. As a divorcee, I knew that I would find love again. I also knew that it wouldn't be easy finding you because like many of us, I had to go through, as they say, kissing many frogs in order to find you, my king. And so, future husband, I want you to know that the love that I have for you has been tested because after that, 90 day probation there were things that wasn't 100% perfect but what I knew was that you had the foundation of what I was looking for and what also found me you first loved me because I loved myself you also loved and really appreciated my two angels that came with this package, my 17-year-old as well as my 14-year-old. Dear future husband, my kids actually like you. <laughs> they actually love you. And they appreciate the energy that you bring to my life because they want and they see me happy and more than just happy they see me joyful dear future husband I thank you for having the patience even when things are not so great even when I have quote unquote blonde moments where I may not be a hundred percent there and I'm thinking about other things and I may respond to you in a way that doesn't ultimately make sense to the question that's being asked. I thank you for having that patience with me. I also thank you for being there for my quirky moments and really being excited when my quirky moments make you laugh and also drawing you near and closer to me because you say, ooh, she's not only beautiful, but she can be funny at times. And I dig that. Dear future husband, I thank you for being emotionally intelligent. I thank you for being in tune with your feelings and emotions and communicating it even when it is hard, even when you may not want to be in the same space with me, but you do. You fight the temptation to resist, to become silent, to walk away. You fight that just like I do. Because what I know is that if I want something different, I'm going to have to do something different. So dear future husband, thank you for that. Dear future husband, I love the times and experiences and the escapades that we've had, the travels that we've already entered into our book of love. I thank you for just being fun to be around. Dear future husband, I thank you for the love that you give with your words and how you are so complimentary. Even when I am feeling at my ugliest, you say, babe, you look really beautiful today. Oh my goodness, how that warms my heart because I'm looking at myself and saying, geez, I've been really in that house all day cleaning and 
making dinner for the children and sending out emails and working on my nonprofit and working my full time and doing all of those things. But yet you see the beauty in my face and you, you say something. You communicate with your words to not only send complimentary love notes and reminders, but you are affectionate with your physical touch. When we walk down the street, you hold my hand. When we are crossing the street, you make sure to lead. It is refreshing, my future husband, to receive such love. And even when I am on my tours speaking to thousands of people, you stand in the shadows very close to me, paying attention of who's speaking to me after the meetings and the workshops. Keynotes speeches as a crowd ascend you take on the role of my bodyguard standing in the shadows and and not saying much and allowing those to speak to me and give me the limelight that i really humbly receive and when it's all done you hold my hand and you say are you ready and we walk I thank you for being confident in who you are as a man and allowing me to be the woman, the queen in your life. Dear future husband, I thank you for loving my bonkers West Indian family members. I thank you for really being attentive to my aging mom. I thank you for really being easy to get along with, without hiccups. I thank you, my future husband, for seeing me, for who I am and, and many facets of me. You don't judge, you receive, and you move with me effortlessly, without prompting. Dear future husband, I love that we pray together. I love that you see my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Dear future husband, I love that we pray in the mornings and I love that we pray in the evenings before we say goodnight. Dear future husband, I enjoy us going to service together. I enjoy us reading the word and dissecting it together. Dear future husband, I understand that I am not perfect, not at all, but I appreciate you wanting to walk this journey for greatness knowing that in our imperfection lies something that is perfect within us, and that is God. And so, my future husband, thank you for taking direction, receiving discernment, and knowing when to go on this journey and when to pause, and when to go faster and when to slow down according to our God. I thank you for not only being my friend, not only being my lover, not only being my significant partner, but thank you for also being my business partner as we build businesses and invest in things that can support and grow our community, but also build generational wealth. I thank you, future husband, for having the vision and wanting to see it come to fruition by living in that moment when it isn't currently happening, but speaking it as though it is the current moment in the present. 
Thank you, future husband, for playing those roles with me. Thank you for future husband for just making a decision to choose and love me and my two amazing angels. Thank you, future husband, for looking at yourself and looking at your imperfections and saying, okay, I acknowledge what they are and I am willing to work on it for the better good. Thank you, future husband, for addressing the traumas that you've come through for looking at it even though it may not always smell and and look good but addressing it because you know that if you don't it will stop you from moving forward thank you future husband for loving on your mother for caring for your aging mom and and really being attentive to her and always wanting to take care of her and even give her a call almost every other day just to check on her because you know that she is living alone. Thank you, future husband, for loving on your own children, being present for them as this is also your second marriage. Thank you, future husband, for having a good relationship with your prior wife. Thank you, future husband, for not holding regret and grudges, because what we know is that grudges and regret can turn into something that can ultimately turn us backwards. And that's not where we're going. Thank you, future husband, for being aware and cognizant of all of those things and dynamics that could tear us apart. Thank you, future husband, for being in a place where you say, I choose different. I know that I have made mistakes in the past, but I am not willing to do those things that have caused me pain and hurt and regret and resentment. Thank you, future husband, for making an ultimate decision to live and be great today. Thank you, future husband, for loving on me, knowing those right spots. <laughs> Thank you, future husband, for taking your time and not being selfish with it. Thank you, future husband, for kissing me softly and holding me gently. Thank you, future husband, for being you. Because what I know future husband is that life together will not be easy but it will be worth it thank you future husband for making it a point to treat others kindly thank you future husband for making a decision to speak to those who often are not seen or heard Thank you, future husband, for caring for the needy, giving power to those who are not always seen. Thank you, future husband, for matching my energy when it comes to community engagement and empowering those who often don't feel heard. Thank you, future husband, for walking this path with me and knowing that this life can only be done one time, but we are doing it one time together. <laughs>